Hey everyone, welcome to another Artsy Weekly vlog. Artsy Weekly, no, try again. Hey everyone, welcome to another Artsy Studio vlog. Uh, starting off in a chaotic, cha oh, you know what, it does, it does. You're probably thinking, well, Heather, that looks pretty normal for you. Listen, it's not. Some things are out of place, uh, and they're out of place because I've been hanging on to this for months. This is a badly lit <laughs> ceiling tripod, ceiling mount. You yeah, know, I'm supposed to be able to like drill this to the ceiling and then I can mount my camera to it. And that way you guys will have a straight down shot onto what I'm working on. I feel like that would be so cool for rugs, like to watch the whole thing from straight up above because all of your angles right now are like from the side so you can't see the rug for what it is. Um, do you see what I mean about like a chaotic start? Maybe the chaoticness is my energy. Anyway, um, so I started uh, carving out or rather like cleaning up, uh, flattening the baby rug um, and I was just like dang this would be such a cool like transformation. I was like they love, I, you guys like really like this rug as much as I do. And so I was like, I just got to do it. For some reason, I like, there are some things that my brain like latches onto. Like you have to do this task before you can do literally anything else. And I can't, like I, it bothers me. Like I was trying to keep shaving and I just can't. It's, it's like a nagging, like do it. Why aren't you doing it? Um, so we're doing it. And it's taking time out of this, out of carving that and stuff. What are you going to do, right? I mean, come on. That'd be such a cool view. So here's my problem is what's mounted right up above where my table is right now is a like pull um, extension cord. And I love it on the ceiling, but I don't love it right above my desk because that's why this yellow wire is always like in every single shot. So what I have to do before I get this up is I have to take that down and kind of like move it over or something and then and then put this up. I may honestly just take that down and put it on the floor for now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because uh, I think Sean put that up and the screws are angled because the screwdriver has a really hard time getting in there and I just don't want to deal with that right now and I want to put this up anyway. So I'm going to change your battery because it is dead and then uh, we're going to do the things. So annoying that I'm making myself do this right now with no one to help me, just doing it. Oh, oh my gosh, I just remembered. Why do I do this to myself? Okay, so there's one of these like ring things, and then once I can hold it, there's this pin that I can pull out, and then this comes down. And I'm remembering now, right now, as it's in my hands, that it's plugged into the ceiling over there. And when I pull it out, my dehumidifier turns off, and that's how things work. That's how electricity works. Anyway, Sean probably freaking screwed these in like a... Okay. Are we gonna fight? You know what, though? I can just put my thing up because the big bulky thing is out of the way. And I can move on with my life, basically is what I'm saying, like that. When I think of something, I'm like, oh, we're gonna do that. We're gonna do that right now. Send help. Let's reposition. I need an actual drill bit that isn't from the freaking 1900s. Listen, if you come tumbling down from the ceiling, you know why. You're not gonna come down from there. There's no way. There's no way you would ever come down from that. A few stripped screws later, and the, the, the thing is up there. Y'all, what the? F this this view is so. <laughs> it's perfect. It's exactly what I want. Can't even tell me that that's not super cool and totally worth all the annoying things that we just did. Nice. Wow. All right, let's continue what I've been, what I should have been doing this so freaking time.
Hey y'all, it's the next day. Um, so yesterday, you guys saw me like shave this down. Um, but then I did start carving it and I got caught up in like making this video for like a post for Instagram or TikTok or whatever. Uh, where I was like carving out the different fish and it was like a kind of transition-y thing. And I also, like with you high up there, I uh, didn't think that you'd be able to see anything because when I'm carving, I'm like right on top of it. I kind of pulled you down. I think this is just a bunch of excuses, honestly. But I obviously did not finish. So we do still have some of the water to do. So this is what it's looking like carved. Look how lovely. Oh my god, it's so satisfying. I wish... I wish you could all like reach out and <laughs> just like feel how cool this feels. Um, but we do have some sections like this that still need to be carved out. But it's looking so good. We can get going on. I My plan is to completely finish carving this rug. So we still have some of the water bits and then the whole outline. And then we also have these like little grass bits and then the rocks. And then I also have to do the edges. All right, y'all, here is the, here is some bad lighting. One second, is that better? I'm just gonna turn you up. Here is the finished baby rug. Da, 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 da. Look how beautiful, eye-catching, just, it's so pretty. It is so pretty, I love the water. It's got like whimsy, whimsical factor to it. It is so cute. And I just, it's so like, I feel like this is really, really cool. And I don't know, just all the carving. I think I told you guys, but I was considering not carving it. I'm so glad I did. I think that thought was just out of like panic that it's already the 14th of August. And um, I need to work on, I need to, I need to bust out some Halloween rugs, but I'm really glad that I, I shut that thought up because the carving is so perfect. The carving just makes it, it just makes it. Look at our fishy pond rug. It is so cute. Not for any particular reason. Okay. It was just on top of the other one. So easy grab, but I think we're gonna do this one next. I'm so, I'm so excited. I'm so excited to see this carved and done. This was actually the first time in my rug making that I have um, fully finished the backing part. And what I mean by that is like, I'll back it with this like non-slip 
stuff. Um, but then I won't do the sort of trim, or can I call it trim? I won't do this like edge stuff and then my tag until the very, very end, but I'm glad that I've done it before because now the carving is the last step. Also, um, I basically filled up my scraps bag with, and I still have to collect more. So I was thinking on our next frame, <laughs> this is why I wear a mask, by the way, um, when I'm carving and shaving because it just gets everywhere and, you know, don't need to be breathing all that in. I was thinking of doing some pillows for some of like the spaces that we might have um, in between the bigger rug designs. So I'll probably still have really small spaces for garland, maybe like one thing of garland, just like this. But I was also thinking of doing some pillows because I've got, I've got like an overflow. And then I also have some actual stuffing for pillows. All right, anyway, so I have to reattach my guide. I just remembered a design um, idea that I had like while I was falling asleep the other night. Um, that's when I have all of my best ideas and all of my worst realizations, <laughs> like remembering things or right when I wake up in the morning. Anyway, I was thinking possibly for one of the pillows, but I don't know if it'd be cooler as a rug, but I was thinking of doing like two of a rug or a pillow, two that go together. So it'll create a heart, but it'll be like two broken heart pieces. And then it'll say till death on one and do us part on the other and I'll do like a cool skull and just some like cool design and kind of make it like spooky vibed what do you think because I feel like that is uh I want that and I'm I just honestly like my, all of my designs will always be things that I want I will never make something that I don't also want I think Unless, like, I do commissions, which I do want to do. Anyway, I feel like I'm rambling now. By the way, when I'm doing this, I have it, like, on the table. And I make sure that my, like, shaver is, like, right level perfectly on the table so that it's not, like, crooked or anything. So when I start shaving, it's going to shave perfectly flat. Okay. I think I'm going to put you back on the ceiling um, for this part. But I, I do want to show you. Um, what it looks like right now. So that way we have kind of like a before and after when it is done. All right, so here's what we're starting with. Very scratchy, you know, obviously like you can see it, but it's, it's quite fuzzy. And, you know, like unlevel. There's a lot of like tufts of yarn just sticking out. Especially up here. So this is what it looks like before we start shaving. Hey y'all, it's the next day. Uh, yes, uh, no, that was a lie. It's actually like the day after the next day from the last thing that you saw. I think what happened was I filmed like a time lapse with my phone of like carving out the rest of the jack-o'-lantern stack rug. Uh, and so here's that. I mainly filmed that for um, like an Instagram reel or TikTok or whatever. But hold on, I'm gonna go grab it and show it to you. I always roll these the wrong way so that the bottom is the part that I would have to hold. Anyway, here's an upside down reveal. Da 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 da. Still needs a good vacuuming, but 
here it is in all of its beautiful carved out glory look at this bottom one he gives me life i mean they all do they all give me life but the the details of the carving just are perfection it's so satisfying to do and then to like see to start with it being like fuzzy and you know uneven and stuff and like yarn sticking out in some places and then end up with it all like nice and like carved oh it's just look at this thing it's so freaking cute this is the perfect halloween decoration this is a perfect this is a perfect perfection i have achieved it this is uh my favorite thing this right here is my favorite thing. If you know what I just quoted, that would actually be really impressive. I think I said that recently. It was the Fairly Odd Parents thing. One person got it, and now we have to be besties. <laughs> so anyway, moving on from this to the last rug, which, if you'll, uh, ch uh, ch um, if you'll, if, <laughs> if you'll look over here, um, I can tell you that I have already started carving this out, and this was an accident. I just kind of zoned out and started doing it and I made it kind of far. Like I did the whole stem part. I carved out the eyes and the nose and the mouth. I guess that's kind of it. So we still have the hat to do and then these lines and then the whole entire outline of the whole thing. And I thought that we could do some like close-up shots because it's so satisfying to watch that yarn just like, blah, 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 you know, come out when you're, you, when you see what it, what it looks like, you're going to understand that sound. Also, I have some more tufting fabric coming in today. So once we finish this rug today, which we will, then we're going to move on to the next ones. We're going to get a new piece of fabric on this frame. I'm pretty sure what I'm gonna do is that you know the strawberry that's on my small frame there I'm gonna take it off I'm I think I can restretch it I don't think that's a big deal as long as I you know make sure I don't you know wave around like a crazy person as long as I store it you know nicely and properly then I think I could restretch it I don't know because I'm just I'm just not into the whole strawberry thing right now I really want to get another like Halloween rug going so I'm hoping that I can get four on the big frame and then one on this one and that will be five six seven rugs and then we'll have the garland crap i also also um wanted to do the pillow anyway let's get to finishing the jack-o-lantern witch rug <laughs> All right, y'all, it is done, and it's it's literally perfect. It is so perfect and cute, and it, everything just came out perfect. That's the only word I can possibly think of. This section is so satisfying. His face is beautiful. I just, ugh. Look at him. Oh my god, he's so cute. All right, I think I'm going to end this studio vlog here. Uh, I am about to get started on trying to figure these out, which you all gave me, like, 
actually genius ideas on how to do these without having to like put a sewing needle through them. I think I'm going to go with, because somebody suggested, I should find their, find their name, but also do you guys like not want me to share your names when you guys give me ideas? I never know if that's like cool to do or not cool to do, but they suggested doing, using that, uh, the edging stuff to make sort of like a loop on the back. So I think I am going to rip the felt off of these. I'm going to re-glue them. I'm not going to like throw away this felt. I'm going to re-glue them back on. But I'm going to take this felt off and like sew on a little loop. So that way I can put ribbon through. Why didn't I think of ribbon? Don't know. That was another suggestion. I was like, oh, I'm going to braid yarn. Ribbon was, thank you. Thank you to everybody that uh, gave me suggestions for that because I probably would have braided yarn and tried to pierce it through with needles. It just would have been horrible. So I appreciate y'all. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Give, make sure you give this video a like. <laughs> Subscribe to my channel and my vlog channel, which is not so artsy. And that is for um, outside of the studio stuff. You can follow me literally everywhere. It is at Artsy Madwoman besides Tumblr and Twitch, which is the Artsy Madwoman. I love you guys to absolute death. <laughs> I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. <laughs>